touch on the B20 sawmill as well. Love it. Back when I was cutting logs to sell to the big sawmill a few years ago, I had a measuring stick malfunction and ended up cutting a few pretty nice logs too short. The sawmill won't take logs shorter than eight feet and some of these logs are seven feet and the other ones are rejected culls that are just plain too ugly for the big sawmill to buy. So I saved them and I dragged them up here with my skitter to put them on my own sawmill. I'm way overdue to cut these logs up. So I'm going to get started on this today and see what I can get done. I dropped off the old Timber King B20 sawmill and swung down the leveling jacks. But I still need to level it up and install the log lifters before I can get started. So here we go. the mill leveled up so now it's time for the first contestant. We'll take this little hard maple log. She's been waiting here patiently for a long time so let's get this baby on the mill and get going.
wasn't supposed to happen. Guess I need to position this log a little bit better on the log lifters. It's kind of slanted down a little bit. to try and see what happens. There we go, that's much better. This bark is really dirty on here from skidding the log. If I don't get this dirt off of here, it's gonna dull my blade in no time. Fortunately, the bark's pretty loose from sitting here for so long. sawmill like this with no log lifters. I love these things. Oh yeah. You do have to remember to retract the log lifters before you start cutting though because the saw carriage will contact them if you're not careful. Reversible log turner is a nice touch on the B20 sawmill as well. Love it. to start to turn it over by hand. The hydraulic log turner tends to gouge up the finish on the cat, so I prefer to turn it by hand.
time to readjust the log spike. If you forget to do this, you're going to cut into it with the blade. And that would be bad. like a little bit of spalting going on on this log, not too shabby. This next log is kind of a gnarly looking oak log that I cut out of a top of one of the oak trees I dumped. And this log is so crooked, I'm going to have to cut it in half to get it to go on the mill. So I've got to just trim these little edges off of here. And then cut this baby in half. And obviously it's going to be short. It's going to be way shorter than what the, the big sawmill would take. But that doesn't matter to me. I can get something out of this log. So here we go.
this log is still too crooked, so I'm gonna have to cut this little dog leg out of here. It needs to be a little bit straighter on the mill. That ought to do it.
The other half of this log is a long ways from alignment with the log lifters and I can't get my skitter in here to push it into position so I need to try to massage it into position so I can get it lined up on those log lifters to put it up on the sawmill. So I just need to kind of angle it that way and see if I can roll it down. If I can get it on that one log lifter I can probably turn it and get it going towards the other one. So let's see what I can do here. So I got it on the one log lifter. Now I'll turn it and roll it towards the other one. Let's see what happens here. A little uh, cant hook action. on the B20 are real nice with the rollers. Makes it a snap to reposition the logs.
some sawdust and a few boards had a good time doing it oh yeah gotta love it there's a few of those oak boards I cut up they would have been firewood and now they're lumber oh yeah to be able to salvage some usable lumber from what would have been firewood. Oh yeah. Now I need to cut some stickers so I can properly stack this lumber. I think I'm gonna call it a day for right now though. I'll come back another day and finish this up.